Himself is really hard. But like I said, for people like me or people like Delgado, Spanish or black, it's really hard. New at six, a former classmate of the Massachusetts State Police recruit who died after training says the State Police Academy is run more like a fraternity and not everyone is welcome. The WBZI team was the first to report Enrique Delgado Garcia was critically injured in the boxing ring at the academy. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. The former recruit who spoke with the I team says he experienced hazing at the police academy and says black and Hispanic people were treated differently. WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiandaka here now with the exclusive story. Cheryl. Well, Lisa, David, the recruit says he is heartbroken about his friend and former classmate. He says he expected the police academy to be tough and was prepared for difficult training. But he says he was not prepared for the harassment, humiliation and discrimination he suffered. And after after 18 weeks of training, the police cut him from the class. The I-team was there when he was finally ready to unpack his academy bags. This is everything that I have in my bag. For this former Massachusetts State Police recruit, these photos showing him wearing an academy uniform are all that's left of his dream. Since I came here in the country, um, my dream was like to be a to be a state trooper. The state police dismissed the Haitian immigrant from the academy just six weeks before graduation. Enrique Delgado Garcia was his carpool buddy and his classmate. He died last week after sources say he was seriously injured during a boxing training exercise, where trainees pair up and fight each other. He was, he was a good kid, he was really, really good, helping me helping everybody. The academy himself is really hard. For people like me or people like Delgado, Spanish or black, it's really hard. They make it really hard for you. I know they don't like us. So they show you that. He does not know what happened to his friend, but says he was subjected to hazing and harassment from the second week of training. The first thing that's gonna wake me up, everybody come to my home. They make everybody come to my home. Go home, go home, go home, go home, go home. Like imagine like 180 people like call, telling you go home, you, not, you don't deserve to be here. It was, it was a lot for me. An army reservist, he survived boot camp and four years in the military, but says his experience at the State Police Academy was more like a fraternity hazing instead of elite law enforcement training. Making me sweep the floor with my uniform like and my stomach, like it's not a training. What is the training and that make me uh, counting breaks? after everybody sleeping and like trooper telling me like he will do everything that in his power to not graduate because I don't deserve to be here. Wanna walk to mommy? All of this heartbreaking to hear for his wife and young family who sacrificed so he could go to the academy and realize his dream. We come here and for him to want to do better and you get there, you face with you being humiliated you're being discriminated. Training is training, I understand that. I'm in the military, I know boot camp. Training is training. You have to teach your trainees how to really protect themselves out there. But there's nowhere it says in the book that you need to break someone down so low to where they can't study, they can't pass a common sense exam. He was let go by the state police on August 23rd. Since that, in the second week on the academy, until the 18 weeks, it was really hell for me. It, every, it was really hell every day for me. The recruit tells us he plans to visit his former classmates' family to pay his respects. The I team reached out to the state police for comment, but we did not hear back. Lisa? That was really powerful. Cheryl, thank you.